These are the Soundpeats Go Free 2 open ear earphones. These are wireless Bluetooth earphones with really good sound quality, great battery life, and a lot of other features. I'm gonna let you know what I think of them and how they compare to other earphones. Let's get into it. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. Today we're looking at the Go Free 2 earphones by Soundpeats. Full disclosure, Soundpeats did reach out to me and ask me if I would take a look at these earphones. Although they did provide me with this product for free, they're not seeing this video before it goes up. All my opinions are my own. Actually, this is not the first product that Soundpeats has sent to me. They sent me the Soundpeats Clear, which is still my everyday earphones with dethroning my first gen Apple AirPods. These earphones have a very different design than the Apple AirPods and the Soundpeats Clear. They have an open ear design with a wrap around the ear fit. I can wear them for a very long time without getting that irritation I eventually get with in-ear earphones. They have a very secure fit and I haven't been able to shake them off at all. Having an open ear design means that there is no sound isolation. This can be an advantage if you want to be more aware of your surroundings depending on the environment you're in but there is potential of sound leakage as well, meaning other people around you could potentially hear what you're listening to, depending on what you have your volume set to. How do these sound? Overall, I think the sound quality is very good. Now these do have the limitation of being open ear earphones. With in-ear earphones, you have the sound isolation, which really brings things out, such as the bass, very clearly. These claim to have enhanced space, which is not bad at all, but I found that turning on bass boost in the app really improved things. I'll get into the app in a moment, but overall with the sound quality, spoken content is great and music is very good, especially with the enhancement of the bass in the app. I will mention that these do support LDAC. LDAC is a proprietary audio codec developed by Sony, allowing streaming of high resolution audio over a Bluetooth connection. Now, I don't have a device that supports LDAC, so I won't be able to test it out in this video. The other feature I look at with Bluetooth earphones is the microphone quality. I think, I still think the AirPods, even my first gen AirPods, still have some of the best microphones, even in such a little device. I was happy to see that the Soundpeats Clear have really good microphones, so I'm really hopeful for the GoFree 2s as well. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. Today we're doing a microphone test between the AirPods, Soundpeats Clear, and the Soundpeats GoFree 2. How do these sound? My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. Today we're doing a microphone test between the AirPods, Soundpeats Clear, and the Soundpeats Go Free 2. How does this sound? My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. Today we're doing a microphone test between the AirPods, Soundpeats Clear, and the Soundpeats Go Free 2. How does this sound? After listening to the results, I think the other two earphones have better microphones, but the Go Free 2 microphones sound great still. I was quite surprised, especially with the design where the microphone placement is, it was able to capture my voice very well. Especially for what I'm gonna use it for, for phone calls, video calls, it's very usable. Now, when I use it for video production, well, this is how it would sound after I do some audio processing. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. Today, we're doing a microphone test between the AirPods, Soundpeats Clear, and the Soundpeats Go Free 2. How does this sound? Something that I do very often is switch between different devices, my computer, iPad, and my iPhone. With the AirPods, this is, can be pretty easy, but there are times where it does take a long time where it doesn't do what I expect. With regular Bluetooth headphones and ear or earphones, what you have to do is disconnect from your current device that it's connected to and then connect it to a new device, or you have to put it into pairing mode. And putting these into pairing mode with the GoFree 2s it's the same as the clear where you press on one earphone, one side of earphone for three seconds and it puts it into pairing mode. I've had no issues doing this. The GoFree 2 takes it to another level. It has dual device connectivity, which means that you can connect two devices simultaneously. You have to enable this in the app, but once you get it set up, you don't have to worry about switching between the devices. This would be great for my wife as she mainly uses two devices, her iPhone and her iPad. Now, if you use this feature, if you turn it on, it won't support LDAC anymore. Also, it doesn't play sound from both devices simultaneously. 
it does one or the other, but it switches between them seamlessly. So let's say I have my iPhone and my computer or my laptop here connected to the GoFree 2. Let's say I'm playing music, let's say through Spotify on my iPhone. And then if I start a video on my laptop here, it won't switch over. But after I hit pause or stop on my iPhone, after a couple seconds, if the video is still playing, it'll switch over. It's pretty seamless. And actually, and it does it the other way too. So if I hit play again on my iPhone, it won't switch over automatically until I hit pause or stop on the video on my computer. It does prioritize calls though. So earlier today, I was on my computer listening to something and then someone called me on my phone and it automatically switched over to my phone so I could take that call. Here we are in the Pete's audio app and I already have my GoFree 2s already paired with my phone. So as you can see, I have the picture of my GoFree 2s on top with the amount of battery life, not only for the earbuds, but also for the case itself. Then we can disable all touch controls if we want to. Turn on game mode. Game mode does less latency between the device and the earbuds itself. We can turn on dual device connections, customize touch controls. The nice thing about using the customized touch controls is not only can you customize the taps on your earbuds, but you can also see what is the default actually. So a single click on the left ear is volume down. A triple click on the left ear puts it into game mode and so on and so forth. And we can always restore the defaults, but that's a good way to see the defaults. The middle tab shows us our EQ. We have something called adaptive EQ. So it does a test and listens to your environment and changes your EQ accordingly. Of course, I have it on bass boost as the preset. And I think this just enhances the sound of the earbuds themselves. And you can always customize your EQ to your own liking. So this is a very simple app and any changes that you do here stays with the earbuds. So when you connect it to a new device, for example, the bass boost is automatically on for me. Let's talk about a few negatives or things I wish it could change. It mainly has to do with the charging case. If we look at the charging case compared to these other cases, the clear and the AirPods, this is much bigger, almost twice or probably twice the size of each of these. Now, I don't think they can do anything to change this or make it more compact because of the way that the earphones are shaped. Now, you, maybe they can do some overlapping design or inserting into the case. Again, this is really not that big, but compared to these guys, this is quite bigger. And the other thing I wish this case has is wireless charging. As of this recording, this retails for about $66 and even cheaper on Amazon. So even at that price point, which is pretty affordable, I wish they could add wireless charging. Even my cheap Aki earphones, which I bought for under $10, supports wireless charging. So what do I think of the Soundpeats Go Free 2 earphones? I think they have good sound quality, a comfortable fit, and high quality, great sounding microphones. And what really sells it for me is the dual device connectivity. As someone who is always switching between multiple devices, this just makes my life a little bit easier. Now, is this gonna be my new daily earphones? Honestly, I'm probably gonna stick with the Soundpeats Clears because I do like the in-ear design a little bit better, but this would be a great choice for anyone who buys them. Thanks again to Soundpeats for sending this out to me. I didn't get to go over all the features, but I do have a link in the description below to the product page and to the Amazon page as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, consider hitting the subscribe button. Until the next one, see ya.